Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2 where we will we had a great episode last time where we you know faced the shadow broker and created so to say a new one we can do a little bit exploration before we go back to Normandy and that is what I'm planning to do yeah okay um yeah sorry that's right now not that important. Although no, I know I go through it a lot. This will allow you to reasonable suitability points for the selected character. Yeah. I'm currently glad what we um with the powers we have. Okay, the option with ESO is available for purchase. I'm buying this because that is rather cheap and we have a ton load of um a ton load of actually a ton load of credits available here. Hopefully it's messing. Okay, I'm gonna take that too. Foundation can't start tests on promising new antibiotic because of accidental misfit paperwork. Use your contacts to help them cut through the red tape so they can begin clinical trials. Yep. Smear campaign. A corrupt politician is trying to levy heavy taxes on all earth manufactured goods coming into his system in exchange for kickbacks from local businesses. Ruined politi put it <laughs> reputation with a smear campaign so that his proposal doesn't pass all right and just reward eclipse mercenaries have secretly set up a red sand production facility on the planet Cuervo to about the planetary authorities about the facility in exchange for half of the credits seized during the raid okay why not then let's have a chat how are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He knew you weren't lying about your visions of the Prothean Beacon. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or... Maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How'd you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture. And a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect. 
After two years of intermittent torture. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So, you and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. He's very grateful to me for saving him. But it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. It was good talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship. Maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. That sounds great. Why don't you come up now? Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Yeah. Is she romantically wanting something? Oh boy, do we, do we go here in all directions? That's not what I wanted. We have Miranda, don't we? Well, Did not you enjoy have. the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask if I'd embraced eternity lately. Of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. I thought I'd never see these again. They changed hands more than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? I think I do. He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sends his best and hopes you're okay. So how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me, I have no idea how we're going to do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not for you. I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them. And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? I guess I'm fighting for us. All of us. That's a lot of responsibility. People are messy, awkward, sometimes selfish or cruel. But they're trying. And I'm gonna make sure they have a chance. I hope the galaxy proves itself worthy of the effort you're putting into saving it. I should get back to my base, but thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. Aww. Although, they didn't drink any wine. Or whatever. Or maybe it was lemonade. I guess it was lemonade. Come back soon. Right, so Shadow Broker Commander, you've done. received a new message at your private terminal. Cheers. Still alive. Greetings, Commander from Detective Anaya. I'm not completely sure this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse Mercs have gotten real cried around here, and my superiors have backed off too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully the next time I meet Justica, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe it worked. I'm sorry, I worked a case with one of them. You are a lucky man. If I find any more data on her target, I'll pass it along. All right, good. And I thought we might visit the Citadel. We still have a quest there, which we will do in the next episode. But first of all, we are going to go through the ship. Still need to get to Tuchanka, Shepard. My students being held by Bloodpack. 
I'll talk to you later, Morton. We'll be here if you need. Yes, and that's on my priority list too. Oh damn, there's so much stuff to do. And not so much time. Uh wait, do we have anything cool here that we already have? Wait, 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 wait. Still need to get to Chuchanka, Shepard. Yep. My students are being held by blood pack. I'll talk to you later. Okay. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's then talk to Jacob. I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gernsback, Commander. Doubt my father's alive after all this time. Was there anything else? Just we'll talk later. Back. Commander. Yeah, that's what we had too. Okay, good. So, uh, memo to myself, no need to talk to them until the quests are completed. Good, at least I figured that out. And let's see, I th still think Miranda has something to say. She always has. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? I do. I suppose we should talk. I don't know what this is. If this is stress or just blowing off steam or... I care about you, Miranda. And I think you care about me. This is no time for emotional entanglement. You and I know more about the Collectors than anyone. We know how unlikely it is that we're coming back alive. What idiotic bunch of hormones thought that now was a great time for love? Who said anything about love? I'm just trying to get you into bed. <laughs> you ass. Come on, Miranda. You want this. Yeah, I do. So don't die. You promise me, damn it. I died once already. I don't plan to do it again. No. Some time. When I'm ready, I'll come by, okay? I'm um, fair enough. <laughs> what I maybe I don't know if criticize is the right word. If I really criticized stuff in the game gameplay. Let's play of the first part. I oftentimes said a little bit that I liked the music, and I sometimes said I didn't like certain parts not that much I think in the second part they, my opinion again the music is Someone way better you, thank you and um, the was it no, engineering I think I think the subtle things with the music here were absolutely amazing Okay, grunt. Okay, this guy. I cannot promise you that at one point I will actually remember the locations of all of them. I cannot, but I'll try. There we are. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife. Which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. 
It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this... monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Well, guys, we will travel to Omega in the next episode, actually. Screw the Citadel. For now, guys, that already brings us right now to the end of this episode. And you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed Andy, this episode. I think you'll want to talk to Garrus. Will do. We will talk to Garrus and then we travel to Omega. If you actually do have enjoyed this episode, you guys, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully, I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.